today we are looking at the depressing Elijah the depression that confronted Elijah the man who asked God to terminate his life because of life challenges how do you press on how do you continue when your word seems to be falling apart and nothing seems to hold you have tried your best your tears are not drying the situation seems to be hopeless and you wonder what god is doing and you are not getting answers i want to tell you this little bit about the prophet elijah from first kings chapter 19 we may not exhaust all the verses in 19 but we'll go as far as we can so let's see how far the holy spirit will take it elijah was an earthquake he was a strong wind that blew bill worshippers he was a wind he was an earthquake and the fire that consumes above all he was a rain a torrential rain to the nation in fact the day he was taken elisha cried he said my father my father the chariot and its riders of israel elisha said he is the warrior he's the one who saves the whole nation of israel remember what i said this man is personified in earthquake he's a shaky man he's the man who shakes everything he was a wind that blows everything in his way he was a fire that comes from heaven and consumes evil he's the rain that rains and nurtures a parched land and brings fresh habitation and fresh afforestation this is the man we're talking about but there came a time in his life when he went through life challenges that the man who shakes things the earthquake the fire the wind and the rain said god take my life i don't want to live anymore what happened to this man bible said he's a man like this but he prays fervently he's the only man who stopped god from bringing rain for three and a half years nobody achieved this yet this man had a problem and he said god should take his life please it is not over for you say it's not over for me say it's not over for me i want to tell you that no matter what your achievements are you can be a medical doctor you can be but the crisis of life have no respect for anybody you can be engineer do you know there are medical doctors committee suicide there are engineers there are astronauts there are lawyers and judges committing suicide because of life precious you are not the only one hallelujah but i have a good news for you i said i have a good news for you you are amen this week i had a good news for you experience one of the greatest victories of his career god supernaturally fed him for three and a half years prayed fire from heaven which consumed his sacrifice rain after he commanded rain after three and a half years of drought he outran ahab who was riding on a chariot this man literally there is no word record holder in athletics who could run faster than this old man he outran chariots he told the king take off i am coming and the king was riding in a chariot and he was running on foot you understand what i was i told you he was like a wind that blows by the time the king who was riding on chariots got to the city he has folded his hands waiting for him over there give the lord a clap of free <laughs> this is the man i'm talking to you about but life has no respect for anybody so when you are going through something 
embrace yourself face life like a man test out no pity party don't sit down and cry this is the man who had just a little bit problem just one woman spoke one woman threatened his life and he was begging for god to kill him after all this achievement your achievement means nothing when you are confronted with life crisis you forget about your phd you forget about your businesses you forget about your money in the bank life crisis can send you yahoo google it can make your head spin on you like an owl hallelujah but god has a plan for you i don't know who i'm speaking to this afternoon he had run a hub demonstrated the existence of god publicly to the nation yet he became mentally physically and spiritually depleted disappointed discouraged and in despair he became depressed this man became disappointed discouraged and in despair he became depressed flow with me flow with me we are on a journey beautiful journey i don't want you to miss the story i want you to cruise with me musically as we go a woman spoke just one word a woman's voice sent a chilling fear into this great man of god like simon peter he took his eyes off the lord who has done this great job through him he looked at the phenomenon peter looked at the waves and began to sink only when he started looking at the problem in the book of lamentation we saw jeremiah also in the same hopeless situation habakkuk who add to the menu or the repertoire of people who saw their life circumstances and began to sink they were asking god would this be over would this current situation be over and finally you do you also have a problem that is sinking you down do you have a problem that looks like it will shatter you it will crush you how long have you been crying like jeremiah despair but in despair you can still find hope say amen please preach with me preach with me don't sit there and look at me like that don't sit there and look at me. preach with me i said in the time of despair you can find hope say amen i hear only one person whether you are enjoying or you are not enjoying say something do something hallelujah don't sit down your quietness will sap all my energy glory be to god hallelujah jeremiah looked around and there was a case for weeping nothing could seem hopeless when you see the streets once crowded with people now empty when you see the walls and the defense of your home broken down when you see an intruder taking over your home and you could not do anything about it the one magnificent temple once that was a glorious temple destroyed things are falling apart and you could not hold anything together we also sometimes face seemingly hope situation don't we we do every door seems to be closed all our resources gone about all that is left is to sit down and cry hopeless situation you look at it and you wonder when is this going to be over it is about to get over i said it is about to get over Keep hope alive. 
that's all don't show any sign of weakness be bold let people know that you have the god still posting your god hallelujah still stand and say my god will do it my god who has begun it he will accomplish it by your effort or without your effort he will do it hallelujah we look around look at king david he was so many times depressed in fact one day he was so depressed and he said my soul how long would you be depressed he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills where does my help come from some one to one one to two my help come from the lord maker of heaven and earth if you look at your circumstances the devil will use your circumstances to defeat you please take your eyes off your circumstances and look at the bigness of your god hallelujah that is where your strength will come from let the enemy continue to boast let the enemy and I, I know what i'm saying the enemy will continue to boast Haman was rejoicing he has said the gallows he's counting the days down the day he will finish Mordecai but at the end it wasn't Mordecai who hung on the gallows it was Haman the one who erected the gallows he was the one who hung on it when the people conspired against Daniel and they threatened to kill him with the lions when they put him over there they were laughing they thought they have seen the back of Daniel but come the following day every one of them were eaten by those same lion Daniel was the only one who went to that lion's den and came back alive give the Lord a clap offering you will go to that you will go through what you are going through and you will come out with flying colors it is the enemy who will be distracted not you I came to give somebody an assurance press on say press on tell somebody press on never say die until the bones are rotting never say die hallelujah we were told in first Kings chapter 19 that Ahab after all the rains all the wind all the fire and Elijah killing it was so marvelous a thing Bible said Ahab has become a puppet and behind him was Jezebel he was the king but he wasn't in charge over his home something took over his wife and the wife began to run the home rocket he married her all right he was a king but the wife he be influenced by demonic spirits took over the home air became a puppet and she was behind the scene checking the courts in god we say ahab ito koliko you know what is koliko those of you born over here you will not understand people who run puppet show there are strings around they chuck you this way you go they chuck you and come there glory be to god hallelujah <laughs> jezebel is running the show ahab went home told his wife the whole story of what had happened what elijah has done and now he has killed all the prophets with sword jezebel on hearing that sent a message to elijah and said so let the gods do to me and even more also if i don't make your life like the life of those prophets by tomorrow this time and when he got a message from jezebel he got up and he ran for his life and he came all the way to Bathsheba, which belonged to judah he has run from the northern kingdom and traveled as far as the southern kingdom which is roughly between 80 to 85 miles south and he left his servant we did not know the name of his servant but he left everything 
everything after all these miraculous things one woman's threatening words make the prophet of god run for his life the words of jezebel represented the devil's power sometimes when the devil is intimidating he roars bible says like a rolling lion he roars and does the sound of his voice can send fears to your spine you think your life is over goliath did it didn't it elijah was suspecting the heart of the people to be turned to god after those great victory but what did he get disappointment despair i call it the four d's disappointment despair discourage and depression in order the four d's disappointment despair you get discouraged and then depression sets in please don't go that line you may be disappointed but don't get despair if you get despair discouragement will come in and if discouragement sets in you bet you'll get depression stop it before it gets too late hallelujah he left his servant and went the day's journey into the wilderness all by himself and he came and sat down under a juniper tree requested that the lord should take his life he said it is enough now lord i have had it to my neck i can't bear it anymore please take away my life slay me i am true i am not better than my fathers i am not the only one so many people have gone through these life challenges i am not the only one others have committed suicide father i'm not committing suicide but you take my life please wait a minute it's not over for you don't go that path don't ask god to take your life ask god i shall not die but i will live and declare the words of the lord i will declare the goodness of the lord in the land of the living hallelujah say in the land of the living don't let the desires of the enemy come to pass in your life don't run and leave home stay put tell somebody stay put tell somebody the man of god says stay put take the voice of jezebel as a joke tell her if she really mean it she should come to camel the mount of camel like you did to the bill prophet we will see who god's answers by what fire hallelujah no libi libi no awam it's not math math come let's demonstrate it hallelujah you don't understand what is libi 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 laba laba hallelujah i'm using jargons you people do know <laughs> hallelujah it doesn't matter who you are this can happen to anybody it doesn't matter whether you have over achieving life these things can confront you elijah was overworked over worried of the apostasy of the nation sometimes the situation can be so devastating it can be so depressing you look at the circumstances and you don't see any way out how many of you have been there you have a situation that doesn't look like there's going to be an end cheer up this message is for you this afternoon just when you think it's over that is when the miracle is about to begin hallelujah oh your amen is weak glory be to god am i talking to living beings hallelujah don't wear me this afternoon too much this message is for all of us so come along with me hallelujah this often happens after great victory just when you were rejoicing when everything seems to be going all right then this bad wind blows 
just when you were overjoyed enjoying then a bad wind blew in to take your joy sometimes it can be catastrophic you see young people brilliant young boy then all of a sudden something happens they have potential for great academics they have great potential for businesses they have great future example for many people then bad wind blows in sweep them off and you look at them and you feel what happened it doesn't matter what has happened you can turn it around hallelujah say my situation can be turned around please preach with me preach with me preach with me preach with me listen this message came to me just last night if i had preached i finished this sermon last week this is not what i would preach but last night the lord bared in my heart and gave me this message i'm giving to you elijah wrote great work for god now he was crawling under a juniper tree before we could say anything to this man of god please look at the circumstances don't condemn his behavior none of us has achieved what he achieved in ministry why was this mighty prophet in this state why was he in this state why was he saying he was the only prophet left many of us preachers think he was too proud that was not the case at all god said to him please listen to this when he said he was the only one and i will take you through when he said he was the only one going through this god said you are not the only one say you are not the only one say what you are facing you are not the only one other people have gone through even worse than you have you are going through worse set up a business and you saw somebody somebody has embezzled the money in the company company you said years you put all your effort elijah said god i was the only man god said you are not the only one i have seven thousand other people like you give the lord a clap of it <laughs> give the lord a clap of it say seven thousand other people do you know how many people are who are going through what you are going through you think you are the only one if god will open your eyes and show you the countless number of people going through whatever you are going through and if they tell you the nitty-gritty of what they are going through you know that what you are going through is small <laughs> hallelujah he said i was the only one god said you are not the only one in fact there are seven thousand and one of you you are part of it but there are other seven thousand people whose story you don't know but the question is where were these seven thousand people when big when jezebel and the bill prophet were having a day where were the other seven thousand prophets they were all hiding i know what i'm saying look at this nation look at the church system look at the christian system look at the backslidingness god has men and women in this country god has men and women in all nations look at africa look at the way the churches are going in africa god truly has men but where are we when jezebel and his prophet and her prophet were having her day in israel and they were ruling bible said all the seven thousand prophets went into hiding god said they were hiding in caves only elijah was confronting the situation he did not have anybody to stand with him he was standing alone beloved it is not good to stand alone i said it's not good to stand alone when you have a problem share with another brother and let's pray about it it's not good to stand alone elijah was doing all this alone and all these seven thousand prophets god said i knew all of them 
the amazing thing is god knew them he know where they've been hiding in fact if he had wanted to flash them out he would have flashed all of them out he knows the cave where they were hiding god said i know where they are hiding but in the difficult times when god wants somebody to stand for him none of them was showing up please keep on standing keep on standing there are many out there who are good christians but not everybody shows their face in time of challenge even when we have friends in times of our difficulties not everybody show their faces it is said that in times of difficulties that's where you see who is standing with you and who is not standing with you that's where you see true friends hallelujah so elijah said to god I am tired take my life you mean the man who commanded fire the man who commanded rain the man whose prayer stopped every three and a half years from raining the man who resurrected somebody's dead child back to life simple problem and he's praying to die he was fatigued he was tired he was exhausted he has used every energy in him to confront Baal and Baal worshippers he was depleted he had nobody to stand with him that's why I salute you this afternoon for standing with me he used every single auntie Becky I salute you brother James I salute you Mr. Hemisa, I salute you. Mr. Steve Yodafote, I salute you. Brother Godwin, I salute you. Mivi, I salute you. Brother Kwesi, I salute you. I salute all of you. Sandra, I salute you for still standing. Hallelujah. I salute all of you. Elijah said, I am asking to die because there was nobody standing with me can you imagine the horse and the rider the man whose words changes the battle if he dies israel is in trouble can you watch such a man die this man needs a support this man needs some people to stand with him but because he couldn't get anybody to stand with him he was begging god to take his life but don't worry god is going to stand with him my brother don't give up if nobody is standing with you we will stand with you you will not go down for going over they said my time is up oh what a word I'm not even in the middle of the message what a word and so he went to sleep suddenly an angel of the Lord touched him and said to him arise and eat then he looked and there by his head was a cake baked on the coals and a jar of water please pay attention a cake and a, a jar of water may some of us stop drinking fizzy drinks I'm not propagating something but when god decided to feed the prophet the food that will nourish him for 40 days and 40 nights yeah i take i take the scripture serious it will be heft to us hallelujah and the jar of water so he ate and drank and lay down again listen bible said angel woke him up and said food is ready he woke up he saw the angel he was not bothered about an angel he took the food ate. this is what depression does when you are depressed even there are miracles that can be happening around you and you don't care have you noticed when people are depressed all they want to do is eat and sleep eat and sleep eat and sleep their world will be falling apart and it doesn't mean a thing to them may you never get to that level hallelujah 